Shawty do her own shit, very independent Whipping in the kitchen and trying to run a business Hey, that's a queen right up She remind me of me, never lacking with the heat Just as real as she can be and make a nigga take a seat That's a queen right Hey hoes, welcome back to Talk Time with Roe. Mama just might be a hoe and we are back, back, back again with another video. And as y'all can tell by the title, I am going to tell you guys my top 10 Christmas movies, okay? Um, I just did my top 10 Christmas playlist songs and now I'm doing movies. Now, Granted, some of these movies I have not seen in a while. Um, so before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so y'all can be notified whenever I post my next video. Make sure to follow all of my pages, my business page at Press Creations by Row, my Instagram at Talk Tower Row, and my TikTok at Talk Tower Row. Make sure to follow my wife at B44NY. You can find all her music at B-O-O-N-Y. And her YouTube is 44 Boomy for all her music videos. Um, if y'all like her music, y'all already now I'm gonna plug it in. Like, nah. Ooh, I'm off to the bank. Watch me kick in and laugh. Can't call me the trash. Nigga keep thinking he bad. Put a MJ foot in his ass. I see nigga that's stunting real bad. Trying to look like something real bad. Can't give a D time. Goddamn, y'all mama and dad should have whooped y'all ass. I don't put cap in my rap. My verses be documents, nigga. You can ask me, I tell you the facts. I give you the vision, binoculars, nigga. I'ma whip my hoodie, do. I ain't catching no bus. Let's go. And I ain't gotta crease my shoes Back and forth, metro to no ho And if y'all like it, y'all can go find it Alright, alright Let's get into the That T.O. So, let me start off by saying I'm a huge TV watcher I feel like I should get paid to watch TV Or whatever Movies, not so much Because I like things with an ongoing storyline So, I said all that to say That I don't really like re-watching movies unless the movie is really 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 good i'm not a big re-watcher of movies i'm not a big re-watcher of shows i don't like re-watching anything actually it has to be absolutely fantastic for me to watch it again or i have to be like watching with my daughter or like wanting somebody to see that movie type situation but like i don't really like re-watching things over so only two of these movies on this list I've seen multiple times, but like rewatching things is just not my thing. Like even though it's, if it's good, like I've watched several shows that are amazing, but would I go through that whole series and seasons again? Hell no! I'm trying to watch something new. Um, so yeah, and I love um shows that I can um binge watch. So I do watch a lot of older things that been out or whatever but the fact the the thing that i love about that is that some of the things that i've watched that's been out are now coming back out with spinoffs or movies so yeah but i said all that to say what i said only two of these movies my top two are movies excuse me are movies that i've seen many many times over and the first movie my favorite christmas movie of all times i really be trying to go word for word with this movie and it's Elf. Like, if y'all don't have Elf in y'all top movie list for Christmas time, Christmas is over. Like I said once before, Christmas is over. You have to watch Elf. It's hilarious. Hilarious. I wouldn't say it's... it's I don't know. Is Elf really a kid's movie? Because... Some jokes might go over kids' heads, but I love Elf. I love Elf. I love the singing uh, scene. Wait, what? <laughs> I love the singing scene. I almost went somewhere else. My mom be everywhere. I love the singing scene when he was in the shop. I mean, in the, uh, yeah, he went in the girl's bathroom and a girl was singing. I wish I knew how to win. I I wish I said no, no, no. What's the first to give it up? I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Yeah, that's my part. And then also, when he was like, You're not the real Santa. 
and snatched that man motherfucking bed off. And when that motherfucker was excited, he said, Santa's coming! Santa's coming! Y'all, I can go all day, all day with that movie. I love Elf. That is ultimate number one Christmas movie of all freaking time. Okay? I know y'all agree. And also, like I asked y'all on the other video, put down in the comments y'all top 10 Christmas movies. Because maybe it's some movies that I haven't seen and I need to see. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's some songs I didn't know that I need to hear from the other video. List it down in the comments. Put it down in the comments y'all top 10 Christmas movies. Alright? Number two for me is another movie that I can watch multiple times. Okay? I know y'all did too. Um, we've seen the memes of Sister. Okay, and that's Polly Express. Polly Express also has good music on there too. I love, 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 love Polly Express. I love the little black girl. I love the little white boy. I love all of it. I love the whole, I love everything about Polly Express. The storyline, the meaning of it, and everything. I love Polly Express. I think Polly Express also gets me to cry a little bit. Just live, just live it. <laughs> but I love that freaking movie and I know the world loves that freaking movie and it's just so cute and it's well, it's the animations on there is so freaking good. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I told y'all I'm old, okay? <laughs> but I shouldn't be this old. How, how, how I seen these movies? I don't know when I seen these movies. I don't know, but I know I've seen these movies and they old as shit and I didn't even know they were that old until I was doing my research for this video. Um, I was born in 95, late 95, October if you may say. And some of these movies I'm listing now after this is in the 70s and the 80s. 80s? I can see how they, how they, how they cross my eyes. 70s though? Number three for me is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The 1967 version. The 1967 version. It could have been 1966. See, when I was looking this up, one website said 1966, another website said 1967, but all I know is 66 and 67 was way before I was born. But I love that version. I don't like the other Grinch movies that came out they cool they cute or whatever but the older one the 67 66 one on how the grinch stole christmas i love it i love it love it love it i don't even know i know i seen that multiple times when i was younger how when where and why i do not know but that's the best version to me um number four number four is jack frost that movie came out in 1998 Jack Frost is about like, I think it's like about um, a mean snowman. Like, I don't think it was supposed to be a kid's movie. I don't think that was a kid's movie. I didn't too much go into too much research on checking the, um, the rate, the ratings of the, what is that called? When it tell you if it's rated R or PG-13 and all that or whatever, that. I didn't check that part, but I don't think Jack Frost was a kid movie. I think it was really about an evil ass snowman. I think he cussed and drank and stuff too. If I'm not mistaken, let me know if I'm wrong, but I know for sure it wasn't a good snowman. It wasn't a good snowman at all. And it's crazy how I don't even know what this word means on, um, is it rating? Rated, yeah, rated, rated, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it's rated. Yeah, that's what it's called, rated. That was gonna bother me. That was gonna bother me. I worked at a whole movie theater for three years and I couldn't get rated, rated out. Crazy. But yeah, Jack Frost, y'all. That was a, a nice little movie I seen back in the day. And y'all all know, everybody's, most of the world's favorite movie to watch on Christmas, my wife included, is Home Alone in all of its different versions, different people, different numbers, because then they go to like four and then they got a new little boy that's doing it now. So yeah, people like Home Alone. I like Home Alone, but let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all a little secret. Let me tell y'all a little secret. I don't know which one I like. Cause I think I got a mixture of all of them in my head. As one whole movie. 
I promise you. Like I got the beginning of the first Home Alone, but when he started torturing the men and seeing the women or the men with the pigeon, but I still think that's all the same one, but I know he tortured the men in multiple videos, but like the things he did, cause he, I don't know. I don't know which one is which. I got them all bunched up in my head as one whole movie. So Home Alone, Home Alone is number five, okay? Now number six for me on my favorite Christmas movies is Christmas with the Crux. You gotta have a little bit more comedy with your Christmas. And I like Christmas with the Crux. I probably only seen that movie once, but it was a good movie. It came out in 2004. So yeah, moving right along, we have number seven. Number seven is a 1965 film. Cause I think they called it films back then. <laughs> and that is a Charlie Brown's Christmas. Now, who don't like Charlie Brown? And who don't like a good old classic for Christmas times? Charlie Brown Christmas is the perfect classic to watch or whatever or whatnot. When you don't have kids questioning why they look like that. <laughs> but yes, Charlie Brown Christmas 1965 version. I think that's the only version actually. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that is number seven on my list. Number eight, we have This Christmas. Now, do I remember what This Christmas is about? Not really. Um, I've seen that movie probably once or twice, but years ago. I have not seen This Christmas in a long, long time. Um, the only reason why it's on my list <laughs> is because it's a Christmas movie that I know um, and cuts Chris Brown in it. Okay, when you threw Chris Brown in the movie, I was gonna watch it. And that's what got me mad and upset and not trusting the world when they put Chris Brown in Stump the Yard, knowing they pulled the, they pulled the, they pulled the, the Raven situation with the Cheetah Girls that I told y'all on the last video with Chris Brown on Stump the Yard. But dude came out finally years later and cleared the situation to say Chris Brown was never supposed to be a part of the movie. Anyways, and the person's gonna die anywho because that's the whole reason the storyline on why the brother went to the damn school that he went to to do what he did. But look, we don't care about that. You knew doggone well that you put Chris Breezy in this movie to get all the young little thoughts, me included, to this movie theater, and I did. I went. I told my mom we had to go and we had to go right now. And you know what she did? She took me because she knew my love for Chris Breezy. Okay, and just for him to die, two seconds into the movie, I was ready to walk out and cause a riot. I was ready to go and to the headquarters of whoever made the movie and start a stampede. Yeah, I still want to fight him to this day. But you put Chris Brown in anything, I'm, I'm watching. I think I watched every movie with Chris Brown in. Four, was it Four Brothers? Something my brothers. I don't know. I watched everything that Chris Brown was in because I love Chris Brown. I was I was obsessed with Breezy, but then I grew up and I'm not as obsessed obsessed no more because he started looking like a crackhead just a little bit. But you know it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I still support just the week. Next movie, number nine on my list is a 1983 film <laughs> which is Mickey's Christmas Carols like you gotta add a little bit of Mickey spirit a little bit of Disney in your life for Christmas um it's old as hell but it was the cutest thing like I said I don't know when why and how I watched this but I watched it a long 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 time ago and it was a cute little animated thing and who doesn't like Mickey Mouse and Donald and Daisy and all of them coming together for the Christmas times or whatever whatnot um and that was a cute little movie that I recall of way 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 back in the gap and number 10 on my Christmas movies list is the Santa Claus now we have a couple of versions we have the first one that came out in 1994. We have the second one that came out in 02. The third one that came out in 06. And I think that's it. I think that's it. But my favorite one of my favorite one of the Santa Claus is three. 
when I think he had like Jack Frost or something like that, some Frosty Man or whatever the case may be. That one was the best one for me personally. If y'all watched the Santa Claus and y'all seen all three, let me know which ones y'all which one y'all think is the best one. Some people prefer the original, which the original one, the first one, the nineteen ninety four version was good, but I just it was something about the third one for me that just really got me. And I don't recall if the character was the character that I like, the Frosty Man, was in the first two, but he had a more major role, if so, in the third one. And I just love that version, or whatever the case may be. But yeah, y'all, this was a quick simple little video, whatever, whatnot. Um, but let me know down in the comments that y'all top 10 movies that y'all watch on Christmas. Also, drop down in the comments more things that y'all want to see from me, more videos, more ideas. Um, y'all know this is Talk Time with Rose, so if y'all would like to tell me little stories and y'all want to get my little input on it, feel free to do that also. Y'all can send me stuff to send me things to my Instagram as well, or whatever the case may be. Like I said, this channel is full of anything and everything. I do what I want. I do what I want to do. I'm going to say what I want to say. Like Orlando Brown over here. So, you know, you get a little bit of anything and everything over here, whatever. It's nothing specific goes on over here. It's just row being row. Ro recording what Ro wants to record. And if you like it, you like it. It's really about getting to know me and just having fun with me and talking with me because I don't talk to nobody I don't have friends like I keep telling y'all so this is my way of just talking to people because I don't like going outside I don't like really I don't like people but we can be friends through the internet <laughs> just live it because I don't you know do people or friends but yeah um so yeah y'all this has been talk time Row. um make sure to like and subscribe hit the notification bell so y'all can Hit the notification bell so I can be notified whenever I post my next video. Follow me on all my platforms. And y'all, yeah, this has been Talk Time Roll with your mama. This might be your hoe. Make sure to tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, brother, auntie, uncle, your cousin, to your friend and tell her friend that don't like me. That this has been Talk Time Roll with your mama. This might be your hoe. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye. Sometimes I just gotta talk my shit Sometimes I just gotta talk my shit MC, hammer, you can't touch this Can't afford nigga, come fuck with this Humbly speaking, I know